In order to get to this series of questions, we craft from our insights what we call how might we question. The how might we question is the question we can answer with lots and lots of different potential solutions. In creating a how might we question, there's a particular Goldilocks moment to that. I'm going to play you a quick video now from an IDO designer who shares his insight about how might we questions. When we invite people to brainstorm with us, we create how might we questions. We do this so often, we have to shorten it. We call how might we simply HMWs. Let me give you an example. Right now I'm working on creating new bathrooms for India. So what about the question, how might we redesign public toilets in India? Well, that's a little bit wide. Let's try to narrow it. What about, how might we create a doorknob for Indian toilets that's clean, safe, and invites people in? Wow, so this was a little too narrow. Let's find an in-between. How might we create a sense of safety in public toilets? Well, that works. See, it takes a little bit, but this one allows the right amount of creative freedom. So when we go about ideation or creating multiple solutions, we always do some warm-ups beforehand. Because like an athlete getting ready to run a track meet, you don't run out and run cold. You warm yourself up. Well, our brains, our creative brains, need to be warmed up too. So we go through lots of different exercises. Sometimes we sketch. This is a bunch of corporate CFOs, by the way. Other times we play games of creating multiple uses for an a, a offbeat problem. We often will warm up a whole team using ball toss exercises, sounds, and stories. This is one of my favorite, where we do product generation by passing the ball off to four people. The first person names a new product. The second person describes the need that that product satisfies. And the third tells us how it satisfies that need, while the fourth creates the marketing tagline name. These kinds of exercises and warm-up pieces condition people for the work ahead, which is idea generation. And we use multiple strategies for doing this. There are hundreds of them that we deploy whatever our situational needs might be. But all of them uh, use different aspects of our mental faculties to stimulate new ideas. For example, humor is a very useful tool in this work because it creates a lightheartedness and a lighter, faster energy which is helpful in idea generation. Metaphors are an important tool. The metaphor for the original uh, Apple desktop computer was a sunflower. And you can see the relationship between the two. Metaphors give us access to a new area of imagination, like a tempest in a teapot. A metaphor that gives you a sense of bounded up energy. Steve Jobs famously said that computers are like a bicycle for our minds. And an Apple computer is a very different idea and a very different execution than some other uh, laptops that we all probably know and often use. The principle behind all of this ideation is the magic of constraints. Each time we use one of our idea generation techniques, we might generate 30 or 40 ideas from it, and then our mind runs dry. So we'll deploy a new technique, a new strategy, and it slightly changes the nature of the problem each time, tricking our brain into thinking it's solving a different uh, challenge. And that way, we're able to continuously refresh our imaginations and solve these newly constrained problems, still contributing to the overall volume of ideation and ideas, potential solutions that we can then choose from as we go forward into the next part of the ideation phase, which is to choose, to converge, to group together all of, our idea, all of our ideas, select the very best ones for inclusion into the fourth phase or the experimenting phase. Oftentimes, our best technique for making these choices is something called dot voting, which is a very simple tool that is very efficient for getting to the best ideas that we've generated. And as the screenshot shows you, we do it very quickly and very simply. I often say, vote like you're in Chicago. Vote early and vote often. The ideation phase yields hundreds and hundreds of ideas. 
when we converge down to those that we think are most promising, we move them into the next phase that we'll talk about in just a moment. <laughs>